morning everyone happy monday welcome back to my channel we are doing another weekly vlog Ooh. i am in a great mood right now as you could probably tell i'm like uh. I'm doing great. I spent all morning responding to your guys' comments. Like, literally for the past two hours, I've been just responding to comments. And I don't want to, like, beat a dead horse about the video that I made where I have a mental breakdown where I'm like, I just don't feel like I'm good enough. I just am, like, struggling post-grad. And I was responding to your guys' comments on it because there was a few that I missed. And I said this in my last weekly vlog, but first of all, thank you guys so much for leaving the nicest comments ever. I adore you to the moon and back. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't said, like, to the moon and back. It's probably, like, that infinity tattoo era, you know? I just feel really good right right now and a lot of you guys were saying that you guys are also going through the same thing which first of all if you are struggling in your like early 20s or even if you're not in your early 20s if you're just struggling I'm so sorry that's me hugging you <laughs> it's very validating knowing that you're not the only one I'm like getting on myself a little bit that I wish I would have just talked about earlier instead of waiting so long because I find that when I talk to people about what I'm going through it just like takes the weight off my shoulder and obviously I don't want to burden anyone with my problems but this is a really weird start to the vlog but I just wanted to say if you're struggling out there try to find a friend a family member a co-worker maybe not your co-workers because well, it all depends on if it's like a good co-worker or like a co-worker that will snitch on you you know the type even me like if you if you're going through something and you just like want to get it off your chest my dms are always open i love talking to you guys i like genuinely feel like we're like besties i just wanted to say like i feel really good getting that off my chest and i feel a lot less weighed down after i talked about like everything that i'm feeling and going through you don't have to like get right back into that if you want to watch that video you can also my hands look at how bad they are i swear my hands tan so much darker than the rest of my body i barely put any tanner on them i don't have that much going on this week and i know that i will have to have stuff like come up if that makes any sense i'm like really starting off this vlog by just like blah, 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 blah. sometimes i swear i can just talk for hours i don't know if anyone else feels like that but sometimes i'm just like blah, 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 blah. like i just i don't shut up there's so many thoughts in my brain that i wish i could just mm -mm. Like, stop. I can't. I can't. Sometimes I will write in my journal like four times throughout the day because there's just so many thoughts in here that I need to get them out. I think so much. I wish I could shut my brain off. What was I saying? Oh, this week I don't have that much going on right now, but I know that I will because I don't have a video filmed, edited, even planned. I have no idea what video I'm going to upload on Friday and then I have to have a video figured out for Monday. So this week will get busier. I just kind of don't know what I'm doing right now, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know what video to film. I have some ideas, but <laughs> all of a sudden I have no thoughts in my head two seconds ago i was filled with them and now i'm like mm. oh i remembered you know should we change the background again we're just i'm kind of getting bored of this background this morning i worked out and i felt really proud of myself because i was doing like really heavy weights and i was like <sighs> dying like i was like physically like panting i drink two hydro flasks in the span that i was there because that's how like heavy i was making my weights but i'm really proud of myself and then i was like i want to go for a walk outside after because sometimes i walk on the treadmill but i wanted to want to walk outside but because i drank two hydro flasks i was like less than 10 minutes into the walk and i was about to pee myself so i had to turn around and then i just was like eh, i'm not gonna go back out <laughs> so yeah i did do a very short walk with a very full bladder i feel like it's really dark in here it's hard opening this thing with the tree now because it keeps getting stuck on the tree. Sometimes I feel guilty when I don't have a lot to do. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I have this idea in my head that I need to be productive and I need to be working like 24 seven, like eight to five, like I need to be grinding, like no breaks, but that's just not real. Like I was talking to one of my friends who like works like a typical like corporate America, eight to five job. And she was like, I really only work three days out of the week. Like the other two, I'm kind of just sitting around doing nothing. Like I finished all my work and I was like, people do that it's making me feel better that like i do have days and weeks where, that are slower like last week was like pretty big for me like i was editing like 24 7 so i'm like it's okay to have a slower week and just like take some time to relax and recharge because i was working this weekend i'll give myself that i worked friday night saturday and sunday i'm like this is my weekend this is just me trying to justify to myself that it's okay to like relax and take a break do you guys hold yourself to like too high of standards or expectations i have my expectations here i need to bring it to like here like i'm only one person in my head i'm like 50 people that made no sense but to me it made sense so this is the week that taylor swift is releasing her tour tickets we're about to go to the great war this is a battle like 
Anyways, I have some to-do lists that I need to package up and then I want to ship off to you guys, ship out to you guys, if you guys don't know, as if I don't talk about it enough. Did I do everything? I made a to-do list for this weekend. No, I totally did everything, but these are the Sunset Everything to-do list. They're the perfect to-do list, little date area up here. I love these check boxes because they're actually circles, so you can like check them off, fill them in. I just think they're cuter. And the background is inspired by the sunset. The paper's super thick. Obviously, I'm like promoing the shit out of this right now but i love these they just launched so if you guys want to check them out this is the one that came damaged right there so yeah i love these 50 pages really thick paper really thick cardboard they're stunning i love them and they make like the cutest little stocking stuffer i'll have them linked below Lighting is not it but on the way to the post office my friend facetimed me and she was like i have a video idea for you for friday because i just posted on my instagram story i was like do you guys have any video suggestions and she was like you should do a video where you go on hinge and swipe through men and i was like love that love that so me re-downloading hinge also when i was in the post office typically how the post office works is they have this like little like parcel you guys always see it it's like a little shelf and you like roll i don't even know but that was locked so you have to like stack all your packages on a little counter they have and i waited in line and i was like i have a bunch of parcels but like i just didn't think that they would fit on that pile of oh my god there's literally an old middle-aged man watching me vlog like he's literally watching me talk to the camera <laughs> oh my god now he's getting this big little not little big truck anyways i was telling the guy i was like i just thought i'd like bring them up to you because i don't think they're gonna fit on that on that stack and he was like oh yeah just like put them on top and i was like i don't think it's gonna work that way i really don't but now i'm gonna go home i'm back now i just got some emails that i need to like reshoot something for a sponsorship so i'm gonna do that i have a couple like computer things to do so it will be good i'm excited for it all's going well i think that i need to get like a little cuter for my video clip that i need to film which i'm like annoyed about but whatever it will be fine i'm currently in my closet you guys don't really see my closet too much this morning i actually went through and i put like all my winter stuff out i'm trying to think of what i want to wear because i am freezing cold i will say though i will say i woke up this morning and i was like it is freezing i actually bought a space heater on amazon that i could like put in my bathroom or my bedroom while i get ready in the morning because it's just freezing in here i want to turn my heat on but do you guys get scared to turn your heat on because it always smells like fire and it stresses me out beside the point <laughs> i'm gonna wear this but i was reading your guys' comments and you guys were like keegan you're complaining about 70 degrees it's snowing here which in my defense there's no humidity like none at all so 70 degrees does feel a lot colder but i will say i'll take 70 degrees no humidity over snow i've lived in arizona my whole life i hope that i don't live here my whole whole life but so far i've lived here my whole life and let me just say i can't do cold weather like i just i don't know how to i'm not built that way i'm going to take a little body shower because i still haven't like even washed my face after the gym which is disgusting it is what it is but i'm gonna do that i really don't want to wash my hair though but I'm like do i have to <laughs> i should but i really don't want to i don't think i'm going to so yeah we're gonna body shower so i don't smell like sweat anymore <laughs> I look very egg today, very egg, very, very egg. Anyways, I just filmed those clips and then I edited the video, it's currently exporting and then I need to upload it. You guys don't know. I would say most of my sponsored videos, I do not get feedback to make any edits because I try so hard to like closely like align to their creative brief so I don't like miss anything. This brand wanted me to add just like a few more clips of myself. You guys will see the video soon. In case you guys are wondering, this is like what I see on my end. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but whenever I do sponsored videos, I upload them as unlisted links. So you can see it's unlisted here. This is public. This means you can only view it with that link and you can see the people, the companies have been watching them to review them. So they wanted me to add a few more clips to the video so i just filmed those i edited them now it's just exporting so i have some time for it exports and uploads i always talk about how slow my computer is and so many of you guys are like keegan it should not be like that and i'm like i know i think there's like a virus or something in here but i just use this computer so much that i can't risk not having it for like a day why is my face so red wow i really look like the way i used to look when i was a kid right here Does that make any sense you ever see yourself and you're like i look like younger me crazy 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 Best news ever. Best news ever. I got the pre-sale code for the Taylor Swift concert. 
I feel like everyone's been getting it recently, but I was so wet. I was freaking out because it's 3 p.m. right now and so many people I know have gotten it like early, early in the day and I was like, oh my gosh, am I not going to be the first one to get it? I got it. And then I just ordered some prints. So I have a bunch of empty picture frames in my apartment. Like these, except for the one with my dog in it, they're all empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty, so many empty ones. So I just ordered some photos on CVS that will be ready in an hour. Fun fact, if you guys are ever going to print out any prints with these ones too, I got these ones from Walgreens because CVS didn't do like same day poster prints. Always download Honey because I have gotten half off, if not more, for every single print that I've ever ordered because of Honey. And like, there's no way that I would have found like a promo code like that good by myself. These two were gonna be like, they were gonna be like $20. And I think I paid like seven for them, seven total, not each. So definitely do that but i'm so excited to show you guys i got some taylor swift themed ones you'll see you'll see the prints we'll do it together also but like why is my face getting so red today am i blushing are you guys making me blush no sorry that was kind of cringe so is this done uploading no we still have 19 more minutes for my video to upload Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is the day we go to war for Taylor Swift tickets. The Great War. I'm wearing my Swift merch, my Mirabelle sweatshirt. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I like didn't sleep last night because I was so nervous. This is what I'm currently doing. My apartment is freezing cold. Freezing. And I'm scared to turn the heat on. So I just toasted a bagel because I was like, I had one bagel left. And I'm warming my hands with the heat from my toaster. Quite literally using my toaster as a hand warmer. Who would have thought I'd come to this? but I'm freezing cold. I haven't turned like my air conditioning or my heat on in like three weeks. Maybe three is an exaggeration, maybe two. I wanna turn it on, but not while I'm getting Taylor Swift tickets. That, I can't have any distractions. I can't have my apartment smelling like fire because it's the first time I turned my heater on while I'm getting Taylor Swift tickets. I'm so nervous. It is so scary being the one to get them for the group, but I believe in myself. What makes me the most nervous is, sorry, I don't have a tripod right now and I'm trying to toast my bagel or cream cheese my bagel. What makes me worried the most is my tickets are through C Geek and not Ticketmaster. All of the Glendale and Arlington shows are through SeatGeek because like those stadiums are like sponsored by SeatGeek or they have like a partnership with them. So they're not through Ticketmaster. I've never used SeatGeek before. So it just makes me a little nervous because I just don't really know what I'm expecting because everybody else is like, you know, being able to share their Ticketmaster experiences. This is the great war, you guys. This is it, you know, like this is terrifying. Maybe I am back in my bagel era. That's good. This is the pumpkin one from Trader Joe's. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So clearly I'm an anxious person. So I wanted to double check to make sure because my tickets are through SeatGeek that I had all my information in there. And this is what I get when I go to the regular like homepage. But then this is what I get when I go to the ticket link. <gasps> Wait, something just happened. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, it's still like 45 minutes until our tickets go live. But ah! I've been watching everyone's TikTok lives. I'm watching Audrey's right now. It's go time. It is now 2 p.m. and I am still in this waiting line. You're kidding me. Like this is, <laughs> this is horrible. But I've been reading It Ends With Us and I'm almost done with it. Like I pretty much read half of this book today, just waiting for this. So that's been fun. I do work to do today, but I'm afraid to use my computer because I don't want to miss it. I don't want my computer to glitch. We're gonna push everything off and it's gonna be okay. It brought me back to the front of the line. It's 3 p.m. now. I've been doing this since 10 a.m. It's been rough. I showered, I'm eating. A chocolate fudge bar. <laughs> I'm gonna do some work. <laughs> I've been catching up on work because pretty much the past two days I haven't worked that much. It's a chill week. It'll be not so chill tomorrow and the rest of the days. But I changed into this sweatshirt. I don't even, or this sweater. I don't even know where I got it from. I got it like years and years ago. Might have got it from Goodwill because there's no tags on it. But I do have some packages. Are we shocked? No, we're not. Okay, so I got some more light bulbs. If you guys remember my last weekly vlog, I got light bulbs, but I put them in the little light socket and it was exactly what I already had. I wanted like bright white light bulbs and they were warm tone. So I returned them and then I got these ones. So hopefully these work out. And then I forgot what this was. Oh, <laughs> this is my heater. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make getting ready in the morning so much easier. This is the Amazon Basics personal heater with adjustable, adjustable, adjustable thermostat. Oh, 
This is her. Okay, should we try it out? I'm a little nervous for this. Ooh. Let's turn it all the way to heat. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, yeah, this is very, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. This is very nice. Wow, this is strong. Maybe we don't need it that hot. We don't need it that hot. <laughs> I will link this down below for you guys if you guys want to get it. I don't know. Not sponsored or anything. Just, I get cold very easily because I... And a desert baby. I've lived in the desert my whole life. So in about an hour and a half, my friends and I, my big and my little, we're going to get dinner. I'm going to go down to Tempe and meet them there. And we're going to get some dinner and catch up. I miss them so much. I don't know if you guys have people in your life that you don't talk to often, but when you do, it feels like pick right back up where you left off. Like it just, it feels like no time has ever passed. We're very like low maintenance friends to each other, if that makes any sense, which is like, it's really nice having friends like that because we just care about each other so much, but we don't have to talk like all day, every single day. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to blow dry my hair a little bit just so it can dry a little nicer. I washed it and then I let it air dry. I'd say it's mostly air dried. The back is like a little damp. Wait, I need my phone. One of my friends is still getting concert tickets for us because we're. I'm gonna go hopefully twice if this works out. I'm gonna go once with my friends in Arizona and then once with my YouTube friends. And we're hoping to go to the LA show and Julia is trying to get us tickets right now because she's the only one that had a pre-sale code for LA. Wait, let me turn this on. It didn't really do much. Does anyone else feel like the Dyson Airwrap makes their hair kind of frizzy? I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but if you guys have any suggestions, I'm gonna use this Olaplex oil to hopefully die down the frizziness. And I don't have frizzy hair at all. Like my hair is very stick straight. There's really no texture to it. There's really no wave to it. There's not much going on. So it's not normally frizzy. Let's see, did that help? Yeah, that kind of helped. And there we go. Honestly, that really didn't do much and that really doesn't even, I don't even think I look good right now. That's okay. It's totally fine. I wasn't planning on wearing makeup tonight, but here we are. I just kind of felt ugly. Like, I don't know if you guys feel that way sometimes too, but I thought I'd do like a very simple little makeup look and I haven't vlogged much today. Honestly, for the entire day, I was waiting in line for the Taylor Swift tickets and I was reading It Ends With Us. I have like a chapter left. I'm honestly shocked that I like put it down because typically when I have a chapter left, I'm like really into it. Maybe it's just because I was like reading all day and my neck was hurting. Quick, easy makeup look. I'm doing the Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wear Concealer. And I'm just gonna blend it in. This is not gonna be like full coverage of like a good makeup look. This is just like, have something on my face. Cause I felt like I looked kind of deathly. I mean, I feel like I always look deathly. I didn't sleep at all last night cause I was so anxious about getting tickets and I'm so glad. So basically, I don't know if I really gave you guys like a rundown for how this happened. So I had a pre-sale code and my friend had a pre-sale code and we're going together. So we were just like, okay, we're both gonna try it. She got through her access like hours before me like literally i think like three hours before i did it got her there and then it kicked her out and then it got her there and then it kicked her out and we we're like oh my god no mine wasn't loading we were like oh my god is this not gonna work because it kept kicking her out and it wasn't giving it to me at all and then she randomly texts us and she goes i got the tickets and so she got us tickets to the opening night i'm going to the opening night of the arrows tour a real fucking legacy. <laughs> I honestly swear 90% of my vocabulary is Taylor Swift lyrics. And like non-Swifties, they, they probably are like, what is she saying? Like my Instagram captions, if people are not Swifties, they're like, I don't get it. I'm so excited. Like genuinely pumped. Okay. I added the Rare Beauty bronzer stick and now I'm adding a Rare Beauty blush and I just like really sloppily blend that in. There's no precision like this is very quickly. I could probably do this in two minutes if I wasn't talking. I need to be like on my phone just to make sure that Julia is like not getting the tickets and I'm missing it because she's gonna FaceTime me when. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a little bit of highlight. Why not? I'm gonna add the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand. This is the Spotlight. It's basically like their like contour sticks, but it's a highlight one. I probably could squeeze some more product out of this, but I don't really want to. Typically I use a beauty blender, but I think I'm gonna try this brush. I will say this is like the most beautiful highlight, but it like literally never blends out. Like it always just looks like a straight line on your face, no matter how much you blend it out, no matter what you use to. I always like to add like extra to the tip of my nose because I just think it makes me look cuter. I'm debating if I want to do this or not. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to rub most of the concealer off of this brush and then just put it a line right here and then just clean up that bronzer because I was kind of sloppy with it. 
that just really like lifts your face a little bit. Now I'm going to set my face. I'm just gonna take this beauty blender, it's dry, and just kind of tap over my face. If there's any brush strokes or anything like that, I always take my beauty blender and like pack it under my eyes because I have the creasiest eyes. I don't know why I'm brushing. This is like a five minute makeup challenge. I haven't even been filming this for like four minutes. Just kind of literally beating my face up. Is that why people call it like a beat face? Because they beat their face up when they... Just powdering my face just so that it will stay. If I don't powder my face, it doesn't stay. Okay, for eyebrows, I've really gone into this recently. Give Me Brow by Benefit. I'm first going to just like brush them out and kind of get them into the shape that I want really quickly. And then this is basically like a tinted brow gel. And it's perfect. Like I've been really into doing this. Like I pretty much do this every single day that I wear makeup now. Like I, I will say if I'm like getting like ready ready, I'll use my brow pomade that I typically use. I feel like I'm still stuck in like 2015 with my eyebrows, but that's okay. Because I still like them. I'm going to brush through them one more time. Okay, and now mascara. I like to use a lengthening mascara so I don't really have to do any eyeshadow or anything like that. I did put the bronzer on my lid because I like to have some color on my lid because I don't know why, but I always feel crusty if I don't have like something on my eyelid like if my eyelids are just like the same color i don't know i just feel crusty and there's no other word to describe it other than crusty i'm not even in a rush i just wanted to show you guys this like quick little makeup routine i always use a different mascara for my lower lashes because i have really long lower lashes and i feel like if i use a regular mascara on them i kind of look like a creepy doll i use a light brown mascara this is the maybelline sky lash sensational it's waterproof because i i mean i haven't cried that much i haven't really added to my cry log if you guys know i have a notes in my phone oh i almost cried this morning but i didn't win okay and then that is it. Should I add a lip? I'll just add like a little lip gloss. I mean, this is not going to stay, but this is Buxom. This is in Dolly Glamourini. I'm just kind of adding it to the center of my lips, not necessarily to the side. And there we go. That is my really quick and fast makeup routine. That was really simple. I wanted it to look like I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. But here we go. Here we are. <laughs> I decided to change into the sweatshirt where we're going. I'm nervous that we're going to be sitting outside. So I wanted something a little bit thicker because that sweatshirt was pretty thin. This is my unreleased merch. <laughs> Sneak peek. Only reason this merch hasn't been released yet is because my management is still like negotiating the contracts while the merch with like everyone else that uses them. I don't know. I've had this merch made since before summer even started. And I wear it all the time. Yeah, we're just waiting for like businessy people to take care of their stuff. I don't really, I just want to release it, but. This is your sneak peek of it. I don't know if I'm even showing it in a cute way. It says, I think of you when I watch this. Is that what it says? I think of you when I watch the sunset. It has like my little logo there, but it's like small, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> morning you guys i feel like i look i haven't showered since i worked out i probably should i'm always scared of getting uti if i <laughs> the stuff that i've been saying in this vlog but like when you sit in your workout clothes for too long it's it's not good for you so i started off the morning by going to the gym and then i just finished another one of these journals i always talk about how i journal a lot well, i don't know if i always talk about it but i love journaling and i just finished this one this one was august 2012 12 2020 to november 2020 that's how often i write in these it takes a few months to fill these things up i'll link these journals down below they're the best ah! what is wrong with me they're the best things ever like they're they have a little like pen holder they have little tabs they have a little pocket and then they open completely flat love them love them so much i get them from amazon not at all sponsored but now we're really gonna grind get back into our work today i obviously did like work and do stuff like that yesterday but the past two days have not been the most productive but i also didn't like need for them to be the most productive i finished it ends with us last night i read most of it when i was in the queue for the taylor swift concert tickets i finished it after i got home from dinner with my friends it was really Really nice seeing my big and my little like I said I love catching up with them it's just it, it, it feels like home if that makes any sense like they're just it's such natural conversation like it's ne it never feels forced you know the kind of people where you're like so what have you been up to it just it's never like that those are like, the best kind of people to have but I finished it when I got home the book I really liked the book I think I don't I don't know if it's my favorite out of all the ones that she has written that I've read but I really like the way that she taught that's my fridge I think 
hello. I like the way she talks about like such a complex issue that's not as black and white as we all make it seem and it gives you like a lot of like sympathy, empathy for people going through that because I think if you haven't read the book you're like what am I talking about but I don't want to give away any spoilers but it definitely like shows you how complex that is and it's not as easy, it's not as easy as it may appear to some people. But that Kim Kardashian quote you know what I'm talking about. I really like that book and I'm excited to start, it starts with us because I also have that one. I'm just checking off my to-do list. I still haven't picked up the pictures that I ordered on Monday because yesterday I was like glued to my computer all day. We're gonna get to work. I had to reschedule my therapy appointment to today. Normally I have them on Tuesday, but I'm doing it today because the Taylor Swift concert tickets were my top priority, obviously, as they should be. So I have therapy in an hour. So I think I'm going to make a thumbnail in the meantime. I had my therapy appointment and then I just ran in CVS and picked up my pictures. Let's look at them. I haven't seen them yet. Big truck. I have printed out. I wanted to print out some photos of me as a kid. <laughs> I have, this is kind of blurry. This is really bad resolution. <gasps> this is horrible. These are horrible. Like this is just straight up blurry. Do you guys see that? Like look at that. And then this photo, like you see how blurry that is? You can't even see her on there. It's like so dark. I'm like, what is this? And then I have this one. This one's blue. I feel like there should, there should be another one. I think they're supposed to be, they're supposed to, oh, there is another one. This is so, these are horrible. These are so blurry. This is disappointing. This is really disappointing. Also, when I was in CVS, there was this man on the phone. He gave me such an ick. He was like talking about some woman and he was being so degrading so absolutely like misogynistic and like disgusting and i was just like we are in a public place don't say those things out loud i was like men no offense if you're a man i'm sure you're fine but everyone else no We are back in the Ticketmaster queue. I actually was in the SeatGeek one yesterday, and now I'm in the Ticketmaster one for the Capital One presale. This is trying to get tickets to the last show in LA. Fingers crossed, really fingers crossed. I've been in it for 14 minutes, and I feel really good about this because a lot of people were stuck at 2000, and it was moving fast for a moment, and then it slowed down, but that's just how I expect it to be. I've heard Ticketmaster is not that great with like the Capital One. Like I've heard that there's not that many tickets and it glitches and people can't get tickets, but I have hope, I have faith. I'm wearing another Taylor Swift crew neck. I always get these from Dizzy Dahlia. This one says, don't forget to look before you fall. And like has a little heart. Um, Really cute. Really crossing my fingers. Really crossing them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's moving so fast. <gasps> it's now at 600. <laughs> I'm like, do I need it? Do I need a FaceTime? Do I need to hit FaceTime? We're at 337. <laughs> I'm FaceTiming them. I'm FaceTiming them. <gasps> 24 people ahead. 24. There's 24 people in front of me. <laughs> okay. Okay. It fro Come on. <gasps> One person in front of me. <gasps> oh, it's like playing music. Thank you for your okay. patience. Almost your turn. No pressure. I'm like shaking. <gasps> that moved so fast. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's okay. 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 Oh, shoot. oh my gosh. It's, okay. I'm Wait, unlock, unlock, okay. <gasps> okay. Okay, 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 oh my god, wait, how do you zoom in? Oh, wait, uh, do we want D? Wait, what about right here, right here? This is the closest we can get. We're just gonna do them. There's also these, wait, they're like going away so fast. I know, I don't see any that are like a long time coming. Oh, it's a tight, please. We're securing your verified tickets. Oh gosh, which ones did you get? <laughs> wait, it's gonna... Good. Is it gonna text me? Please enter your one-time code. Wait, where did I get the one-time code though? Oh, no, no, I got a text, I got a text. It says they're processing my order. Wait, it says check back later, oh my god. But wait, it said you got them. Yeah, how do I, how do I see, wait, see details? It won't let me see the tickets that I got. I can't believe we, oh my god, that was so fast. We, I wasn't even, that wasn't even 30 minutes. No, wow. I'm literally her, Omar, I'm so excited. Oh, oh yes, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so now we need to change our Airbnb reservation. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. bye. You I'm not 
obsessed with the photos I did contact CVS like customer support online and see if they'll refund me or like let me print them out at a different location with a better printer I don't love some of them kind of want to change the background on this to not white I think it like kind of clashes with this maybe like a beige or something this one I don't understand why this told me to get a four by six when this thing is like makes it less than a four by six And then I don't know. I'm just like not obsessed with them as much as I was hoping I would be I honestly don't love it, but I've been getting some work done I've been doing like a lot of the YouTube like behind the scenes stuff that I can't really show you guys cuz like contractually like I, I can't show you that kind of stuff It's just like contracts and like emails and stuff like that. That's what I've been working on I'm gonna film a video tomorrow and it's gonna be like a bake with me video So I'm gonna go to the store and get some of the stuff I want to take an Instagram photo tomorrow because I haven't taken an Instagram photo in a really long time Like I just don't have anyone to take them of me And I feel like I've been posting too much like sponsored content on Instagram that I'm like I need like a photo Like that's not sponsored. So we're gonna try to do that tomorrow. I'm about to go to the grocery store I'm just like turning off all my lights <laughs> My throat really hurts and I think it's from screaming so loud when I was on FaceTime getting the tickets Okay, but we're gonna go to the store Good morning, happy Thursday. This has been the longest fucking week of my life. Yikes, oh, I should really plug my computer in. I just got ready, I'm about to film a video. I'm gonna film a little bake with me video. If I'm not mistaken, that video is already up. So go check it out. I'm currently clearing off my SD card, so there's room. This one, oh no, oh no. It always stresses me out when I put an SD card in my computer and it's not showing up. This is my only trick that I know to get it work. Is this SD card just a goner? Oh, she's working. She's working. So I'm just clearing off these SD cards so they don't fill up because one issue that I always have. Oh, this one was empty. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, that was that was last week's vlog. <laughs> I think it's funny when I like look at my SD cards and see like, oh, I was doing this that day. It's like reading my old diary, if that makes any sense. I'm really excited to make these cookies because honestly, I have no other food. So I'm going to be eating cookies. <sighs> Next SD card. I'll be eating cookies all day, every day. No, just kidding. That's like very unhealthy, but I did get ready for it. This SD card showed up very nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is when I was cleaning out my bathroom. That's fun. Okay, clearing those off. I've been like setting up my kitchen a little bit for the video. Just kind of cleared it all out, you know, wiped down the counters. Nothing that deep, nothing that big. Sometimes it just takes me some motivation to like get going because I'm just lazy. You know how it be. Just filmed that video and then I made a thumbnail for another video and I made sure that everything was ready for it to go live tomorrow. Uh, I just ate a ton of cookies. Okay, two. But they were really big. Actually, two is not a lot. I'm mean, gonna be honest, if I heard someone be like, I ate so many cookies and they were like, I had two, I'd be like, shut up. I normally eat like seven and that's not even a ton. That is a lot, but like also the same time it's not. I'm waiting for them to cool down and then I need to film like the outro clip where I like try it. And then I really need to take some like aesthetic photos of them. But I'm just not good at doing that, so we'll see how that goes. I'm very excited. They're beautiful. I was just staring at them. My cookies. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'll have to edit the video today. I don't know why I have so much energy, but I do. And then I cleaned my kitchen, cleaned up everything. I think I need to like wipe my counters down. Yeah, I really have a lot of work to do because I need to edit that video. Maybe I should start editing that video. Yeah, that probably sounds like a good idea. Cause I'm like, what can I do right now? And I'm like, maybe the work that I need to get done. That would be a start. I think I just like scared myself yelling. I'm in a very hyper mood. It's probably the sugar. It's probably the sugar. I don't know if any of you guys are also like this, but I can never tell if like something affects me. Like people are like, oh, I had a lot of sugar. I'm so hyper right now. Or like I had so much caffeine. I have so much energy. I'm jittery. I can never tell what causes me to like be away. Like if I'm super tired, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it was X, Y, Z that made me so tired. I'm just like, I don't 
don't know why I'm tired. Maybe I need to be more in tune with my body. I don't even know what I'm saying. Just I'm in a mood to talk. While we're here, while we're talking, let's talk my hair. I've been wanting to cut it for a while. It's getting so long. We're back in the kitchen. One thing that I don't think that I am ready to do is cut my hair to my shoulders or above. I don't think that I'm at that place yet. I always talk about when I was in fifth grade, I had this really traumatizing haircut and now I'm 22 and it's still traumatizing me. So I don't think I can cut my hair that short, but I think this is too long. When it's at this point, I'm either going to grow it out or I'm gonna cut it and I think I wanna cut it because I'm not done in my short hair era. I just think that short hair is like so much more manageable. Like having long hair never honestly looked good on me. It was always dead. I'm thinking of cutting it to like, I want to, here's my collarbone. Okay, my collarbone, right? I'm thinking of cutting it to the top of my collarbone, like the top of this part right here. So like this. Or I could do the bottom, or I could do like here. But I feel like my hair just grows so fast that even that, like, it will grow too fast. Like, I think I cut it to here in September. My hair used to never grow. And then I started cutting it, and it grows so fast now. So I'm thinking here, which is like just, it's just slightly below my shoulders. I still want to be able to put it in like a ponytail. I don't know, but I do think that I want to cut it. And I keep trying to be like, I need to make an appointment to cut it. But then I never remember to make an appointment to cut it. Maybe, should I text me? I don't want it. I don't know why I'm avoiding it. Like, I keep being like, I should, and then I don't. That's just who I am, I guess. Well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, but I do, what do you guys think? Let me know where you guys think I should cut it. To the top of my collarbone here or to the bottom? Like, that's really not that much difference, but let me know what you guys think. But I will not cut it above my shoulders. Not, I'm not there yet. Maybe one day, but not yet. Here are all the cookies. I've been seeing all the stuff going on with like Taylor Swift and the Ticketmaster, how they canceled general admission sale. I would be so upset. I feel so lucky that I got tickets and I feel genuinely genuinely so bad for everyone that didn't if you didn't get a ticket I am so sorry like I just want to like hug everyone because I know how like soul crushing it would be and I feel like guilty for getting tickets like I feel bad I feel like I sound so annoying right now I'm so glad it worked out for me and I really hope they figure it out I have been editing for hours. You can tell it is pitch black outside. Do you guys see this? It is so dark out there. It's just obviously getting darker earlier, but I've been editing for hours and hours. And I'm not even close to being done with that video. Will definitely be a tomorrow thing, but I have to put it to bed. Like I can't, or not put it to bed, like put it to rest. What is that saying? I have to put it down. That might be it. <laughs> I just can't stare at my computer screen any longer. And I had this like random urge that I wanted to paint my nails red. I keep seeing all these TikToks about like red nails and I mean, my nails are not even, they're not even a cute shape, so I doubt it'll be cute. For some reason, I really want to paint my nails. So we're going to go to Target and get some nail polish and some clear coat and maybe some lemonade because I really want lemonade. Let's go. I'm like so tired. I don't know why I'm exhausted. So hopefully I don't fall asleep at Target. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Target always gives me a rush of energy and a little bit of lightheadedness. I'm always lightheaded in Target. Let me just turn off all my lights because I spent my entire life savings on Taylor Swift tickets that I can't afford to keep my lights on for longer than they already are. I'm just kidding. I've been budgeting. <laughs> I've literally been budgeting and saving for Taylor Swift concert tickets since before Loverfest was canceled. It was a hit to my bank account. It was, but I've been prepared for it. I started getting lightheaded not even 30 seconds into being here. I'm debating between these three colors and then I wanted to get a top coat. I also got some nail polish remover because I thought I would need that. I think this one's out of the running, so it's kind of between these two. Obviously, the red card is like throwing me off. The SE one is cheaper, so part of me wants to go with that just because it's cheaper. I had no idea how expensive nail polish is. No idea. I am so sorry. I did not... Ah. Well, actually, I can't be mad. Taylor's playing. That was one of the most overstimulating experiences of my entire life. I get really claustrophobic, if you guys don't know, especially in stores. Something, I think it's the cart, but like something about that, just like I kind of was like panicking. There were so many people in there. I was like, this is a Thursday night. Like, why are we here? We should all be self tanning and exfoliating at home. Like, we should not be at Target. I didn't really vlog that much because I was just like so overwhelmed and panicked in there. It was just 
too much. Like I was feeling really lightheaded as I do every single time I go in Target. There were so many people, I, it just, and I'm tired. It just, it was a lot and I was like not feeling well. So I got in, I got out. I'll do a haul when I get home. Hopefully I'll be more like, real, I'm gonna listen to some Taylor Swift and try to try to recoup. But that was, that was a lot. That was honestly a lot for me. If you get like really claustrophobic or super anxious in crowds, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're home, we're feeling more calm. It's all good. Haul. I got some lemonade. This Simply Strawberry Lemonade is my kryptonite. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. I'll never not be obsessed with it. I also got cream cheese because we're back in my bagel era, as you know. I actually don't have any bagels anymore. I ate all of them. Back. That's all you need to know is we're back in my bagel era. And then I got some nail polish remover. I actually almost forgot to get this because I had bought everything and I was about to leave and I was putting this bag this one into my cart and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh so I did a whole separate transaction and the person behind me was so mad like they gave me the dirtiest look I was like bro the nail polishes that I got I don't know if you can see this but I did test them on my fingers I don't think I was allowed to do that but I did I chose my middle thing I just flipped you off I'm so sorry this is the Essie Sirens tea this is the Essie nail polish and not ready for bed and then I got a top coat from OPI this was the only top coat they had so I think I'm gonna paint my toenails and my fingernails this red color let it dry and then shower scrub my body and self tan I will see you guys in the morning hopefully I am a glowing bronze goddess and I'm not orange let's find out in the morning happy Friday this has been the longest week of my life so I'm tan I have red nails ignore my hands my face will match my hands when I put makeup on they just look very orange compared to my face I've tried like self tanning face drops and right after that is when my skin started breaking out a ton and I don't know if it had to do with the self tanning drops or not because my skin kept breaking out after so I was like I don't know if that initiated it or if it was just bad timing but now I'm too scared to use self tanning face drops so I'm just gonna let my veil be ghostly white and my body be a bronze goddess my hands always get so dark <laughs> always so I'm just gonna keep washing them with for the best but my nails do look decent I mean they're not the best but I really like them I don't know if anyone else does this but like this one has like one little bump in it and all I do all I do when I have my nails done is just like mess with the little imperfections even if I get them like professionally done there's always like something wrong with them you know one thing that I do is like when I'm anxious I like use my hands a lot like I'll play with my nails or like I'll bite my nails or like dig under my nail like I just I play with my hands a lot when I'm feeling anxious about something or if I'm like bored a lot of people have been diagnosing me with ADHD in my comments recently. I don't know if that's another sign of it. I don't know, but people, a lot of people have been like, Keegan, I think you have ADHD. A lot of people recently, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm like, is that a sign? I don't know. Everything I do now, I'm like, is this like a symptom of ADHD? Like, should I get diagnosed professionally? But it, it's been a lot of people. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with them though. I really want to start being like a nail girly. I don't know if I want to commit going to like a nail salon like every three to four weeks and like having to pay for that. And I'm not really that great at doing them myself but we'll, we'll see how long this nail era lasts. We're so far on hour 12 and I was asleep for most of the hours, but I like them. So I went on a walk this morning. I've been trying to go on walks on Fridays when I don't go to the gym. It's nice. It's really great weather. I do sweat because it's still like hot, but it's cold hot, you know? you know and then i just got home and i've been responding to your guys comments on my last video i do have that video that i need to edit and i need the thumbnail like i need to do the entire video today i've only rough cutted it which is not like it's gonna take me a long time i already know it like i'm honestly like wanting to keep pushing it off because i just don't have to deal with it i also made plans for tonight i'm gonna go hang out with one of my friends i initially had no plans for friday like the past couple fridays i've done nothing on a friday night besides like work or watch tv and it's been very relaxing then on like saturday i'll have like a more social thing but i have plans tonight so good thing i still tanned mm -mm -mm. i'm excited so now i actually have stuff to look forward to today just finished editing my video this one didn't take me too long thankfully but i always make things out to be such a bigger thing in my head than they actually are i was like this video is gonna take me hours and hours it did take me hours but not as many hours as i thought i'm happy about yay victory Woo! but i also still have to like do the thumbnail and all that stuff but i'm letting her export <sighs> i'm so tired and then i need to package up some to-do list orders and then bring them to the post office this is i'm like stretching this is like kind of a cool view It is 
now nighttime, nice and dark outside. So I did some work and then I took like a quick little power nap. And then when I woke up, I was like, oh my gosh, my apartment is catering like food today. And our little clubhouse was like, I should go down and get some. I hope there's not a lot of people there because I get really nervous in crowds when I'm alone. And <laughs> so I go downstairs and there were so many people there. And I literally turned around and then I walked outside and I walked the perimeter of my apartment. And I took the back entrance up the elevator back to my apartment. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys feel this way where it's like crowds are not scary if you have someone with you, but if you're completely alone and it's like a bunch of people like socializing, it's really intimidating for me. Like that's something that I really want to work on is being able to do things alone and not like feel like I need someone else to do them with because I could just get so anxious doing things alone. I think it's just like my social anxiety. I don't know, I feel a lot more comfortable when I go into like crowded social situations when I have another person with me, which I know shouldn't be the case, but it is. Let me know if you guys have gone through that and if you have any tips that will make it a little bit easier on me ever since i was screaming about taylor swift concert tickets i feel like my throat hurts like i just feel like i like went a little too hard i'm about to get ready in the next hour i'm gonna start getting ready in the next hour to go out to my friend i'm very excited i love hanging out like do you ever just have people in your life that you're like i just have a great time every time i hang out with you that's just how i feel and i'm excited for it like i just always anticipate the best so i'm also freezing right now so i think i'm gonna like get in my bed and scroll on tiktok for a little bit let my phone charge turn my space heater on and then we'll get ready in the next hour.